What up people, it's your boy Chig from Guna Eagle Eye coming to you again with a brand new video. This time it is to talk about something a little bit different. Um, it occurred to me today, 23rd, I kept looking at that date and it kept ringing a bell, it kept ringing a bell, it kept ringing a bell. I was like, why do I remember this date so badly? Well today marks one year since Unai Emery signed his Arsenal contract um, and yeah I guess happy anniversary bo ha happy anniversary boss well done, welcome to Arsenal I hope you've enjoyed it over the last year um, it's been ups and downs steep learning curves, not just for you I'm sure but for the players for the training staff especially the ones that were f remained from the last regime and actually for us as fans you know, for many of us, we've not known anything different from Arsene Wenger. And for the purpose of this video, you bet damn right I'm going to be saying his name. Um, some of some people were born into the Arsene Wenger era and have only ever known the Arsene Wenger era. Some people were old enough and ugly enough, namely myself, to remember the days of, you know your George Grahams and your Bruce Riox prior to Arsene Wenger. Um, how do I feel that you've done over the last year? And I did mention this in my season preview, um, but I did, sorry, in my season review, but I deliberately was quite vague because I had a feeling that um, this would come up where I would have to comment further on how I actually believe um, you've done over the last year. Um, I think for someone who, who, let's be real, has a lot of difficulty with English, I commend you, first of all, for continuously trying to persevere and speak in English, and not just the press conferences, but as far as I can tell, every single training ground video. That to me is very commendable. Um, you wouldn't get a lot of managers that do that. Um, especially ones with not as good a grasp, sorry, especially ones with not as good as grasp as English as you. In fact, you see ones that even speak it better refuse to speak English. <laughs> um, I remember Meza Ozil didn't speak English for ages, but I remember his first interview for Arsenal you spoke it quite well. It was like, well, <laughs> why don't you speak it all the time? Um, fair play to him. He now speaks um, a lot of English. Um, but anyway, I digress. Back to you, you know. I think you've persevered. I think you've tried to ingrain yourself into the culture. I don't believe, and I think it's pretty obvious now, that Steve Bold was necessarily your first option as someone to be an assistant manager. But I commend you for persevering and continuing in trying to ingrain every bit of the Arsenal culture into you, as well as giving yourself to the Arsenal culture. And man, you have. I think you've been a refreshing breath of fresh air. I think I speak as an Arsenal fan that used to be absolutely sick and tired of seeing the previous manager playing with a zip, playing with an elastic band, sitting down, chilling. And, you know, from a standpoint of he was an older man, maybe he could always stand up all the time, I, I get it. But I think sometimes you give your players that extra 2 3 4% when they can see you barking, when they can see you active, when they can see you prowling, when they can see you passionate. The few times the, the, the previous manager did that, we smacked those teams up. You remember? We smacked them teams up. The only team I remember lo us losing and I didn't mind too much was because the previous manager was up and at him was when he almost headbutted Jose. And I so badly wanted him to headbutt Jose during that time. It just get, it lifts the fans. It lifts the players. You know? And I, and I think we've got through to be honest, quite a few games through using that method. Um, I think we've become industrious. Not a lot of people like that. I do. 
I, I, I do. I've always said I'll sacrifice style for people who are hard workers. I know people are very much used to their style and, and their identity. You know what I want to be used to? Winning. I just want to be used to winning. And don't get it twisted. We ain't won all the time. In fact, we won a lot less than I would have liked. But I've seen progress. I've seen players who were previously at the beach for most of the most of the season have to give more effort. You know, in, in in a lot of ways we're in a we're in an interesting position because even players who have improved, i.e. an Awobi, i.e. a Granite Xhaka, you could argue Mustafi, I'm not gonna be in that camp, but you could argue Mustafi. We're still saying these guys aren't good enough. We need we need to go, which shows that they has they has you have to meet a minimum standard to be at Arsenal, and I think as a result of that, actually, people are starting to open their eyes. They're starting to raise their standard. They're starting to wonder what Emre could do if he gets his hands on players that are prepared to battle and work hard. And. When you look at it, literally, we finished sixth the season before. We finished fifth in the most recent season. I certainly didn't want us to finish fifth. But if you were to look at it literally, logically, we have improved. In addition to the fact that we're in the final of the Europa League, and as I record this, we're one of the four teams, English teams, that are repping English teams well in, in Europe. I love, I love the fact that we're one of the people that can actually say, yeah, we're repping the English team. We're repping England. We're, we're representing England. We're representing the Premier League, showing that there are two all-British finals, and actually we're one of those four teams that we still have the opportunity of meeting all of the objectives we start, we set out at the start of the season, getting Champions League football. But, as much of the things that we've done well, I think there are a lot of improvements. I still don't believe the manager knows his best team. Um, I still think that he places too much faith in certain individuals when he shouldn't, i.e. a granite Xhaka, i.e. at Henrik Mkhitaryan. And I'd like to see some big, big moves in the summer. I'd like to see him know what his best team is and be and have that justified. But in terms of my expectations, really, I take a step back. I remove all bias. And you know what? I'm not going to be chick for, for the time being. Maybe Chris, and I'm going to look at this logically. And and I say, has this team taken a step forward? Honestly, Chris, can you see progress? Can you see hope? And the answer to all those questions, honestly, is yes. I would have hoped to have seen more. I'll be honest, but then. Part of me is kind of like, well, what did I really hope for? How can you measure what that is? Because it, in all honesty, all I would have said and all I kept bitching about was I just wanted to see something different. I wanted to see improvements. I've seen that. Now I want us to take that step forward, not barely clinging on and just missing out on Champions League. I want us to comfortably make Champions League. We're probably a year from this target I'm about to set. I would love us somehow next season to make a run at that title. Not only to win it, just make a challenge for it. Realistically, it's probably a year to two years away. Some of you will say it's four years away. I don't believe that. 18 months away, I could, I, I, yeah, I could probably agree with that. But I still like us to make a play. You know? Even if we end up finishing third. Okay. I don't want us to be sweating over Champions League football again. We should already be buying people. And instead, everything is on hold for next week, Wednesday. 
Which reminds me, it's also less than a week until the, the Europa League final, where we have an opportunity to win a European Cup. You know, forget the Champions League for a second. A cup. A cup in his first season? Even some of you Emre outs can't sniff at that. I'll give him credit for that. So, for me, boss, well done. I think you've done well. I think you've made the team play decent, all things considered. Next season, what I would like to see from you, boss, I'd like you to know what your your best 11 is, and I'd like that to be justified in their performances. And I'd like this team to take one, dare I say, two steps forward. For me, third place has got to be the aim. Yeah, ultimately, people will say, what's the difference between third and fourth? I want us to make some kind of challenge at some point in the season for the league. That's what I want. Unrealistic, yes, Chris. But if you're asking me what I want, that's what I want. But um, anyway, you guys let me know what you think. Are you happy with Emery's first year? Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, crush, destroy, drop hit that like button. I appreciate it when you guys do that. All right, I'm out of here. And uh, the countdown is on to the final. Take care. Deuces.